Hello, hello my good students. Welcome back to our War on the Sea Let's Play series as the Imperial Japanese Navy. Joining us today with the Nagato, um, the new one of the new battleships joined us a few weeks ago now at the start of January uh, in the game. We're finally getting to use it. Um, unfortunately for the wrong reasons, it is actually replacing a very damaged Congo um, to help uh, reinforce our Shokaka Task Force and give that some more staying power. Um, really like the design of the Nagato actually, it's got some 410mm guns which are absolutely monstrous. It is uh, halfway between um, interwar dreadnoughts then and a more modern World War II uh, uh, battleship then because of that design. It is uh, the armor's uh, it's not great, it is somewhat slow. It does have that amazing pagoda uh, command bridge though which is absolutely lovely stuff. That is a winning trait there for me. And we do of course have the last fire to cow uh, class cruiser available here. So um with that being said, all we're doing, just a quick catch up, is uh, regrouping, rebuilding, and then we're going to steam forward, I think, to the New Hebrides and try and bombard that and show the Americans who is boss in the Guadalcanal area at least. So, with that being said, let's get to the strategic map and have a quick look at that then, eh? Alrighty then, so we should have some uh, cakes and dive bombers going back to the Shokaku, and in fact we do, and we also have, of course, our I-15 screening again, trying to catch uh, the rest of those... Um, uh, ships that we saw yesterday or the day before rather so uh, let's uh, let's carry on doing that just patrolling in front of the Yamaso force uh, of course it would be a very very easy um, mission for the Musashi to go in and take those out um, not too bothered about them now just there guarding I do want to get some action from our submarines though do just double check actually what I'm this one could last one more engagement before it needs to go back and rearm uh, of course the Task Force 14 here is Nagaso going into movement with the Shokaku and such to reinforce that a little, looking rather thin there. Do have our submarine hunting task force coming round here as well, just to protect that uh, in the meantime. Do have these two destroyers coming in as well to reinforce that up a bit because we only have two there anyway. Excellent stuff. NI-19 here just doing a small, uh, small patrol here for a base. Excellent stuff. So, let's get going shall we? I'll see you when we make contact with the enemy. Okay, so we have made contact with that uh, remaining group here with our I-17 here. Excellent stuff. So what we're going to do is actually turn off bloody fire at will because it's disgusting. And um, we're going to turn around and try and engage. We're at a fair distance here. So we're going to up our scope and have a look at that. We only do need to turn around. That's going to be fine. Doing that very easily there. Uh, if we bring up the map, we should be okay there. So how are we facing? Possibly turning the wrong way there. <laughs> Looked like they were coming the other way just a second ago. So let's turn around like that, I think, to our starboard instead. Because we're actually turning away from them like this. What is the distance to them? It is four kilometers. Excellent stuff. That's enough time to uh, maneuver there. Brilliant. We're actually going to slow down uh, because they are gaining uh, or reducing the distance between us very easily, like that, coming straight up towards us. Now, of course, I do want to fire at a cargo ship because as soon as we get into range with uh, surface fleets right next to us, uh, the cargo ships are the one that's, uh, ones that are going to retreat there, and that will just make it a little more tedious to get rid of them just because of that. Uh, it is rather tempting to hit a destroyer, actually, but they're such small targets for our torpedoes to hit that it would be rather, rather difficult. I'd rather just hit them with dive bombers, perhaps. Not that that's been overly successful before, either, but... <laughs> You never know. You never know your luck. So what we're going to go for is, I think, um, the number three here. If we go like that. Uh, we are still targeting the number one, unfortunately. So let's go like that. And we're going to identify it just to help our solution out. Go to MS. And there we go. Type C3. Excellent. And we just need to now stop turning and actually, I think, reverse out a little bit just to guess there's a little bit more distance between them. And that should be it, really. Just going to wait for our solution to build up and then we'll fire on them. Well, um, unfortunately one of those was a dud, 
which is rather, rather disappointing. Did only fire three torpedoes, but two of them did hit. Hopefully that will be enough to uh, sink this ship. We will have to see, though. We will certainly let the fires and floods run for a bit. The sea state is fairly high. as a sea state of five. Wind speed's very high as well, so um, we should be seeing some very nice uh, spreading fires and floods there. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Mouth's going dry there. Um, yeah, so it is sinking. Excellent stuff. We are soon to retreat. Just getting out and diving. Excellent stuff. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. So, I will see you on the strategic map. Now then, we're going to bring this back just a little bit, maybe intercept them one more time before they get to our surface fleet. And I think we're going to send out some uh, dive bombers as well, maybe to hit those um, destroyers there. So let's do that. Let's bring those out like this. And we can bring in some from Guadalcanal, I believe. Just double check that. Uh, we have one Val available uh, for till the next day. So maybe not them. We have also sighted uh, what I completely forgot about. So this other task force here with four, four light cruisers and five destroyers. We are going to move in to intercept that with our I-15. Which does only have six torpedoes available. But we should be able to get some sort of light cruiser uh, in the meantime there. Otherwise, let's try and get that then, I think. Uh, we should, uh, just a little bit out of position here, I think. Might be missing this, we'll see. Um, okay, let's try there, I think, and see what happens. We may have to come straight out of this. I know we are right on top of them, so let's bring up our scope and turn to port. Or do we have to, actually? Let's look on the map. I don't think we have to. We could just wait right here. Um, that's how it's looking actually. Yeah, let's wait right here. Do not turn at all. We could just sit and wait actually. And that will help them or help us uh, not get detected by any active sonar about. So let's take the time to have a look at what this is. I'm sure it's just uh, Cleveland's and Brooklyn's. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, we'll have a look at identifying some of these destroyers actually. But first, I think what we're going to hit is this Cleveland here. So we build up a solution on here and just identify it while we're going through the uh, other ships, I think. There we go. Brilliant stuff. So one of them turning out for some reason. Hope that doesn't mean we've been spotted. It is a man. You can tell by the three torpedo launchers here. Um, that's very interesting. We do appear to have hit one as well before, as well as uh, the Cleveland here that uh, we're looking to hit as well. You can see some uh, superficial damage to the um, bow there. Oh, excuse me, and um, we do want to identify this as well, actually. So let's have a look at destroyers. Um, I think it's either Gridley or... No, it's not a Gridley because it doesn't have the four torpedo tubes. It's not a Bagley either. So it's looking like a Benham. And in fact, it is. We can see because of the uh, slanted bits on the uh, funnel here and the two, uh, two, two uh, parts here standing up on the deck. Excellent stuff. Does look like we might have been detected, unless they're just changing their formation a tad. This is somewhat worrying. Somewhat worrying. Hmm. This is rather interesting what they're doing here. They should just be going in a straight line. Should not have any idea we're here. This does look to be a perhaps a Benson. Let's just double check that. Yeah, quite likely a Benson there. Um, not, or it could be a Gleaves. <laughs> Two look exactly the same. Oh my god, excellent stuff there. Um, but otherwise, I think we're going to fire off in a second and uh, go back on the strategic map. Brilliant stuff. So because we waited around there, we did actually manage to sink the Cleveland. It did go down to floods and fires there. So uh, that is most of our torpedoes gone, actually. So what we're going to do is go up to the Shortland Islands with this submarine and go to um, rearm there. I think we're going to bring actually the I-17 down to have a look at that particular, excuse me, that particular task force. So we're going to go down there and the Masashi task force can go and patrol over here a little more actively uh, just to get some movement going. 
but otherwise I think we're going to keep the vowels here and try and hit the other task force up here. Uh, the Nagato is very close to uh, the Shokaka here, so we're going to be able to do that very soon. Get them in range. We have sighted another scout plane off of Guadalcanal. Interesting stuff. Interesting. Going to keep these uh, vowels to circle overhead. There we go. Now we've spotted them again. We can go in and have a look at hitting them. So let's do that. Yep, spotted another uh, scout plane, not a problem. Let's go in with these valves, shall we? Do have the I-17 in the engagement zone. We're right over the enemy as well, great stuff. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is, I think, um, what do we wanna hit here? I think we want to hit um, some cargo ships, actually. Let's hit them be very easy to do so. So let's come out with the valves and turn back round. We're going to hit the rear one, the number six here, with all of our valves. That's right, all of them. We want to make sure it goes down, if possible, like so. Uh, this one could probably go straight in and do such, actually. So let's do that. Let's try that out. Tell them to attack like that. Should be able to go straight in and actually uh, lessen the time we're inside the AA range. But see the amount of air coming off of that destroyer there. It's a hell of a lot of small arms fire. This is why it's probably a good idea to actually get rid of the uh, escorts first, of course. Bit of a no-brainer, I know, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, worth it. Worth it's worth repeating. Uh, mostly for my sake, so I know. <laughs> All right, since so we are losing valves before we uh, actually manage to drop. That one, that one, having a great time there. And did we drop at all? Did they not? Did they not attack? Yeah, I don't care for information. Do you not drop anything? You did not. Why is that? Why did you not drop? I told you to attack. Oh my god. <laughs> Useless. Useless. I'm going to rewatch that now and actually find out we weren't. Uh, we did not tell them to attack, aren't I? Going to make me look rather stupid there. Did not get any bombs off there. What a waste of vowels that is, actually. In this one. Hello? Game? What's you doing? Are you dead? No. Look at that. <laughs> I'm taking a screenshot of that. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Well, there you go, guys. This game does absolutely work. Never works against you whatsoever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, not the best strike on there. But uh, you know what? I'll take what I can get with that bloody bug. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Oh my god, this game. <sighs> you know, it's not been my day, not been uh, my day for bugs uh, recently. Uh, not been my time for them. Had an absolutely game-breaking bug the other day when I was playing a multiplayer game with a friend. Disgusting stuff, I just couldn't get through it. But that's a story for another time. This plane... Do you reckon it will count as we've lost it at the end? How many have we actually lost it? One, two, three, yeah, four, okay, okay. What does it say we've lost? It does say we've lost four, so it might actually come back to us. <laughs> it might work in our favour, this bug. <laughs> oh my god. Excellent stuff. Uh, that's taken heavy damage, so it might leave that to uh, burn down for a little bit. The um, wind speed is high and the sea state's quite high as well. So while they're doing that, I'll leave you with this. <laughs> And unfortunately we there, we did actually lose that vow in the end. It decided to come back to life just in time to get shot, I think. <laughs> no idea what was going there, that's just speculation. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. But we did actually get rid of that uh, cargo ship, which is excellent stuff. It did go down to the fires that we started. So, going to carry on. We are certainly going to try and move, merge uh, the Shokaku and the Nagato force here. So let's go in like that with them before anything else happens there. Yeah, Shirkak is ready to launch, not a problem. And there we go. So let us merge ships in groups like that and look at our positioning. Um, Shirkak are going to be over here. Nagato on the back. Um, yeah, I think 
I think that's probably a decent idea there, not a problem. We're going to get these uh, destroyers in as well. So let's see what we can do about this uh, task force down here, shall we? Let's launch some uh, scouts, I think. Let's get a Pete out from the Musashi just to have a quick scout over here. Get a zigzag round and come back up and circle back round to try and scout that out, I think. See where we're going. Hmm, okay. Getting quite a lot of um, scouting planes off. I'm hoping they're all from pretty much the same uh, areas here. Do, of course, see this merchant group again. So we're going to go in with the Masashi there. And we're going to get our submarine here. We cycle through them straight over to this group here, I think. Like that. And then we might try and hit uh, it's retreating excellent stuff that might just be to uh, merge up with this group here and that would be a bit of a problem because that will mean it'd be rather difficult to get rid of these merchant ships will be rather 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 unfortunate so we're in range here let's try and select that again and hopefully it should be right on top of them yes we are excellent stuff so we're going to stop immediately stop immediately there up scope and go for of course a light cruiser if possible I think we want to go for this leading one here if we can yeah it's looking good so I think a group of we have six torpedoes ready let's go for four a group of four in a two degree spread excellent stuff let's identify it as Cleveland because that's what it is of course do not need to doubt how many of these do we have left lots of them a lot of them we've sunk one uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, fourteen out of twenty-seven. That's <laughs> that's pretty much half. I'll be, be fine. That's okay. So we do already have a decent solution on them. We've got a ninety-nine percent solution, and uh, we are of course going to fire immediately then and get the hell out of here because it's a very dangerous task force. We do not want to be stuck around with so many destroyers about. And I think that's all of our torpedoes launched. So we're going to immediately down scope and dive and get the hell out. So we're going to turn around and order a retreat as soon as we can. Doesn't look like they've spotted us just yet. Our torpedoes have got a good curvature. Yeah, that's great. Um, as long as they don't react in time. They shouldn't have enough time to react if they get spotted by this destroyer here. Um, so I think that's good. Yeah, we have a decent lead on it, so uh, the destroyer's not really going to help there unless it's got its active sonar on, which we do not hit any sonar pings. We are in range of their active sonar ping very much, very much. It's a very dangerous situation to be in, but it will be worth it if, uh, if we get this Cleveland, I think. And, of course, don't lose our submarine, which I think would be the case. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, ladies and gentlemen. No worries at all. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, we did not sink that Cleveland there. We did leave us in a state of heavy damage. We had to get out of there and could not wait around because we were under fire from depth charge attacks, which is not ideal, not great for our health there. So what we're going to do is launch actually um, some Kates, I believe. Yeah, let's launch some Kates from the Shokaku and go straight down and try and intercept them. Get maybe one more Cleveland if we can. We do still have three operational there. If that's the case, we could go and try and intercept uh, this merchant ship convoy here. Um, uh, do we want to? Mm, you know what? It's it's an opportunity. Might as well take it. Um, never say no. We'd be making a massive mistake, I feel, if we let that go. So let's try and see what we've got. Excellent stuff. Right on top of them again. Probably want to move uh, to the starboard side just a little bit. Getting a lot of uh, torpedo action today though, aren't we? Excellent stuff. Um, you know what, I might try and hit the destroyer here. And uh, what do we say it was? Either a uh, Burnham or a Gleaves, wasn't it? Burnham or a Gleaves. Let's try that, shall we? 
Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, okay, so the difference here is actually in how the wiring is going. Uh, that's a Sims, actually. That's not at all what we wanted. Okay, uh, uh, ignore that. <laughs> Completely ignore that. <laughs> um, yeah, where are we? Uh, Benham. It is absolutely a Benham. Brilliant stuff. Okay, so we want, I think, three torpedoes, just uh, in case we miss anything. And a one degree spread, because it's such a narrow and small target. I think we're looking good, so we're going to fire immediately, like that. And that will mean we have seven torpedoes remaining, so uh, one, or, one or two more strikes there, depending on what we decide to hit, I think. Excellent stuff. Our angle, uh, not actually amazing, because we're still turning. Should have stopped that, really. That's okay, we can go down, scope down, and dive now, and just get out of there. Not a problem. Ask for a retreat, and go. So let's see what's going on. Excellent stuff. That should encourage them to leave post haste. Excellent stuff. So um, we were getting some Kates in, weren't we? So let's let them come in. And I think, yeah, well, that should be fine. We'll keep the uh, submarine here. And it should be okay to intercept anything coming in like that. We'll just get it patrolling so it's moving around. Excellent stuff. Let's carry on, shall we? So, we have come into contact with them apparently with our main task force here, our Masashi task force. Oh, look at that lovely, lovely ship. <laughs> but we have also sighted them with some Kates and we're right on top of them, pretty much. <laughs> he says that and can't see them. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, so that's a decent distance from them. What do we want to hit first then? Certainly a Cleveland if we can. And here's a very lovely looking target here. And we could also try and finish this one off with our cates. And I think that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to go with two cates for this one here and one for this leading one here, which would be amazing stuff. So what we're going to do is form up in box positions. You know me, I like it in my box, <laughs> like I keep saying. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's how I want to go, I think. So let's lead that down over here. That can go up like that, I think. Actually, no, this one's going to go, this one's going to go for... Um, I think the number six here, like that, we go over here. We're going to take the time to identify as many ships as possible as well um, to make it easier for our surface ships there. So we go to Cleveland here and a Cleveland here, like that, and one here again as well. Brilliant stuff. Now we had a Marne about, didn't we? This one is not a Marne though. This is, let's see. Could be a uh, Benson, could be a Gleaves. Is there any real difference here again? No, there's not, just double checking. Let's call it a Benson then, because why not? Um, let's go over here. This was the Marne, so let's go for that. This is uh, speed, uh, <laughs> speed scouting here. Speed identifying. Another Marne here, excellent stuff. Here you are, perhaps a, another, uh, let's see, it would be Benham perhaps. Yeah, that's a Benham, lovely stuff. It is somewhat damaged already as well, actually. Is that all of them? No, we still have this one to identify as, I think, a Benham again. Lovely stuff. And I think that really is it now. Excellent stuff. Brilliant. So, let's get these down into uh, striking altitude. Excellent stuff. This lot, form up in a box as well, please. You're going to go for the number six Cleveland as well. Try and get that down as quickly as you can, please. Going to turn around out like that a bit, just to let us uh, dive down a little. Give us some time for that. This slot can form up in a box as well and go for the number one Cleveland, which is already damaged. Uh, certainly uh, expecting to lose a lot of Kates here. They do have a lot of flak. Even though their Clevelands are somewhat damaged, doesn't mean their guns are inoperable. So we do need to worry about that. So we do have a piece in the area as well. Whereabouts of that? Let's bring that into the engagement, shall we? And try and keep contact with the enemy with that. Let's increase its speed so it does get down. Uh, we're going to, of course, move our... Uh, surface fleet uh, around. What sort of uh, engagement distance is that? That's going to be close to 20 kilometers, isn't it? Yeah, 23 kilometers. That's a bit of a problem. We're going to try and get a solution with our uh, Masashi. 
but we will not fire just yet. Um, we just get a hold on AP and spotting, just to wait for our solution to go up just a little bit, see what happens, and uh, wait on that. Uh, this group, are you not diving? No, I forgot to tell you to dive. That is my my fault. I've done that with the same here, or done that with this group over here. So we're going to have to tell them to stay in AA range for a little bit longer. Not a problem though, because I don't think they're diving well enough there. This group, why are you targeting Benham? You are not supposed to be targeting Benham. Go for Cleveland like that. Excellent stuff. That's because it's using a spot. That's not a problem. They need to come up as well again like that. And this group needs to come around as well, uh, just because we have not dived. And they are, of course, changing their position as well. Brilliant stuff there. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Absolutely my fault for not uh, remembering to keep them diving. <laughs> You'd have thought I'd learnt that lesson by now, but nope. <laughs> and we never will. <laughs> oh, dear me. Um, this group, I think, should attack. Yeah, let's get them to go, and that will let us, at least just to... Uh, take some fire for these groups here. This is going to have to turn around again to give it some more time to dive and let's increase their speed while they're doing that. This group mm, should be okay by the time they get around there. Let's try that. But it's looking okay so far this group. Don't want to jinx it though. Don't want to... Uh I, there we go. I thought I hadn't told them to attack, but there we go. Because <laughs> that never happens. <laughs> there we go. Well, at least we're losing them after we've uh, dropped our torpedoes. Let's go back over to this group, I think. And there we go. Yeah, brilliant stuff. They can come straight in now. We'll tell them to attack and lower their speed a little so they can actually drop safely. And this group is far, far too close to them. Uh, we should tell them to attack as well. Go straight in for that. Brilliant stuff. Get a hit. Two hits is lovely. Oh dear. Oh dear. We've not managed this well at all. What are they doing? What are they doing? No targets. What are you talking about? So we had a target. You fools. Stop losing things. Possibly just because the lead plane died. We got struck. Should be okay here. Uh, is that going to be enough to... Nope. 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 That's complete mismanagement there. Absolutely my fault there. <laughs> I will understand if you rage at me in the comments. <laughs> very much deserved here. These are certainly attacking though. And they're going to get a very nice drop off I think. Yeah, look at that. Lovely stuff. Let's increase your speed to max and get your attitude up. Get out of there. Very, very bloody. But it's okay. We're sat right next to the Shortland Islands. Might guess a uh, torpedo on this destroyer here. Yes, there we go. Lovely stuff. That was already damaged as well. Brilliant. And there we go. We might get the bows here as well, the midships. Oh, it's a dud. Bullshit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that would have sunk it as well, for sure. So, what's that? The number six has taken two there. And two. So, it has taken four. So, it's not a problem. I think we might be on course to hit this one as well, which is already slightly damaged. So, I think we'll be okay here. I think we'll be okay. How's the Yamato solution doing? Or the Masashis, rather. Why... Oh my god, we've got some problems of our own. They're deciding not to stay in formation here. Why? I do not know. Uh, we had a three column, didn't we? Um, three column left, I think. That's a three right. Excellent stuff. Form up like that. Brilliant. Uh, Masashi's um, solution is what we're looking at. It's 38. It's not the best. Not the best. We could get some shots off though. In fact, I think we will. So let's fire. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. We did just hit another Cleveland with a torpedo. This one, which is the one we're firing at here. They are laying massive smoke though, so our shots are going to be rather short, I think. It'll be all over the place. <laughs> Absolute chaos, really, on both sides here. <laughs> oh my god. I'm surprised uh, this Cleveland's not been sunk yet, though. Let's have a look at the report, though. So, uh, Benham's in heavy and critical flooding, not a problem. Number one's heavy and heavy, that's what we hit with the submarine. Uh, the number five is one that took uh, four torpedoes, I believe. Now it's this one, the number six that took them, and it's only on moderate damage. That's rather disgusting. It is on heavy flooding, though, so it could spread. Sea state's at five. 
and the wind speed is at 23 uh, knots so the fires will uh, spread there very easily there are our shots going in absolutely terrible <laughs> oh dear me might be an idea to actually uh, go for this Cleveland here because it's not under smoke cover actually but we do have now a decent solution on the number five I'm gonna change that anyway and just go for that over there I think what is our distance still 21 kilometers away so I think the case here is to just get some uh, distance um, or reduce the distance between us I think how are we looking with our formation change uh, nothing bad happening I hope <laughs> it's absolutely terrible <laughs> oh my god right what we're gonna do then is completely source out our formation com differently um, we're going to form up with the Sazitsky and Asthma together they're going to form up in a line ahead like that and they're going to move out like this for now the Masashi is going to lead a group I think with a line of breasts with the Furutaka and the Kumano like that uh, line of breasts please like that and you're going to come down straight over here like that and Makinami and Chokai are going to line ahead with each other like this there we go and they're going to come down like that I think actually we get the um, Chokai to lead that one because uh, it's slightly further ahead it'd be a bit easier for them to turn we're going to get them to turn out like this bit of a mix <laughs> bit difficult there <laughs> Uh, it's just because the AI just likes to do as it as it pleases sometimes. It really is. Why are we taking hits? We shouldn't be doing that. We're uh, not in their range, I don't think. Unless they're cleveling some fire out like that. Okay, fair enough. No, I mean, our heavy cruisers are in range as well. But we also want to source out our um, formation at the moment. Hmm. Interesting stuff there. <laughs> oh, dear me. So, joining me many, many, many minutes in the future, we've started to engage their leading destroyers here who have come in for a fight. We've got some order now in our ranks, splitting off in two different uh, sections here with our Inazma and Suzuki going over to the west and everything else going to the east over here to surround them a little. We have got, appears to be some decent hits onto this destroyer over here, the Benham. Excellent stuff, we're targeting that with a couple uh, heavy cruisers and such namely the Furutaka and the Kamano, I believe. We are using the Masashi. We have just come into contact again with the number one Cleveland over here. So we're going to try and get some mangle shots off on that. Excellent stuff. Because it's, its speed is only five knots, it's barely moving at all. So we are going to try and fire like this, I think. Excellent stuff. Hold off again. And we have not got contact with the other two Clevelands because they're covered in smoke. What we're going to do is bring the piece over and try and have a look at that I think over here <clears throat> brilliant stuff and really at the moment I'm thinking about getting rid of maybe this Cleveland with our Masashi and trying to get rid of these destroyers here um, that's a leading but otherwise I think we're going to try and conserve our ammo and retreat if not and try and get into a more favourable position uh, in the future try and wait for these Masashi shells to land in see what happens that will be them. So, so close there. Did you see how close that one was? <laughs> it's ridiculous stuff. Oh, dear me. Let's try and fire off again. Um, let's get a mangle shot, of course. Zoom in onto the map so we can see more clearly. It is barely moving at all now, so it should be easy. Let's go for the midships here, I think, like that. Excellent stuff. Now, how is everyone else doing over here? I think we did take a hit on the Chokai earlier, so let's see how it's doing. It's absolutely cleared up. Did take a hit onto the second mount here, um, but only a glancing shot and we're absolutely fine. No fire spreading, great stuff. Able to recover, excellent. 
Uh, let's see how we're doing on these destroyers though. This one here, the Benson takes some decent hits now. Brilliant stuff. And this one is going, oh, it's going so far down. I think that will burn out eventually, but we get a few more hits on there. How are our solutions doing? And the number one Cleveland is going down. Excellent stuff. So let's get off of here and try going to narrow spreads with everything, if we can. Uh, let's go for a spotting actually with the foot attacker still. Uh, it's not doing great because the target is covered in smoke. Let's turn this one off to a uh, narrow shot, I think. Masashi, you can fire at something else. What do we want you to fire at? We could go for the Benham over here. Um, we'll see. We might, might try and go for this Marne, actually, with some HE shells, I think. So let's go for that. And, of course, get your uh, secondaries to fire on us as well. Just absolutely hammer us if possible. Uh, Chokai, we double-checked on you, didn't we? Let's turn your spotting off and go for full AP. Uh, Kamano. Um, yeah, let's go for spotting, I think. Our uh, secondaries are still going. Oh, we're not fine with them. Interesting. Interesting. So let's double check our other little cruisers, I think. Pretty sure we had those going off. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, they're going. They're going. Uh, where is the Chokai? Over here. Pressing the wrong buttons. Yeah, we're absolutely fine on that. Okay, cool. Brilliant stuff. I think we've got this in the bag. As we should have done. <laughs> Certainly have superior firepower. We had all those cakes as well to help us out. Would be nice to try and get into contact again with those Clevelands though. That would have been great stuff. But there's no sign of them. They didn't sink. Let's turn back round here and try and get round, shall we? There's no sign of them at all. I don't think they sunk. No, I've only sunk the one uh, Cleveland that we've just got. Let's go back to the Msashi and have a look how that's doing. Oh, such a nice ship. <laughs> such a good ship. Uh, we're going to go to uh, yeah narrow spotting, aren't we? Excellent stuff. Have just fired. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So do have our two uh, destroyers over here, and they're getting rather close. What we're going to do actually is turn out with them a little, just a little, and change our speeds just a little bit. We're going to reduce and then go straight up again. They're both firing at the back Benson there. Should probably go for the Marn, really. Uh, how's this Benson looking? But this one does seem to be uh, in a better condition, actually. Hmm. Okay. Maybe not, actually. No, this one's steaming a bit better. So let's change uh, the Anasma and the Suzuki's round. And go for the Marn over here, I think. We're not going to do spotting fire because we are so close to them. Though having said that, our solutions are not great either. We should have our radars on if we can. Excellent stuff. Brilliant. We are going to start taking some hits though. We already have done. They're only glancing so far. Nothing too bad. Just some light fire from damaged uh, destroyers here. Which can only fire two guns at a time with their positioning. Excellent stuff. Oh, those are the Yamato shells coming in, just barely missing there. Just barely missing. So how are the rest of us doing? Hmm, I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. How's this Benham over here? Yeah, it's basically dead in the water. So what we're going to do actually is get some manual shots off on there as well, I think. Going to fire off some HE. And we're going to do it in this sort of fashion here, I think, like that hold off with that. What else is firing assets do we think? Perhaps the Shokai. Nope. Although this Benson is going down as well so let's get some manual shots on that. So we're going to go for HE again. Brilliant. It is only a 7 knot speed. Let's go like that. Possible. You're going to fire. Brilliant stuff. I think we should really turn around actually with this uh, group. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to do because we're going to start colliding with the uh, Masashi group as well, I think. So let's increase our speed to full there. 
Commando, who are you firing at? Benham, brilliant stuff. Which is actually completely dead in the water. Uh, that should be going down then, actually. So we're going to hold off there and get one more uh, fire off there, if we can. Once we've reloaded. And hopefully that will hit it. We're going to go for the bows, if possible. Because uh, that's the one place it really needs to be hit at the moment, I think. And that will finish it off. Let's wait around for that. That was not what we just shot, I believe. Because we're still reloading. And our shot should be coming in just now. Excellent stuff. <laughs> totally love it when a plan slowly comes together. <laughs> Would not have liked to have lost all this case though. But it's okay, we can recover. Not a problem. That's the story of this uh, this Let's Play actually, is how many Kates we've lost. Uh, and I think that should just about do it. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. How are the rest of us looking over here? I think we need to turn around a little tighter here. Go like that. Still no sign of those other Clevelands, so they should be over here perhaps. Gets a bit closer. That's okay, we can leave them for dead. How are we doing? How are we doing? Go for the man over here. Just go rather quickly though, still at 14 knots. Should hold off there and fire like that, I believe. Should be okay. If we fire now, please. There we go. See how that goes. Um, otherwise, we're going to actually to do spotting fire like that I think. Oh that's a lovely little hit on there on the command bridge. That will absolutely wreck it. So yeah everything's coming in now. Yeah that will be the next one to go down I think. Yeah it is stopped now. And we were very close actually. Those are the Amaso shells. There we go. There we go. There we go. So it's just this Benson left that they want to deal with. So let's get everyone on that. Like this. Fire, please. Food attacker, you're going over here. Not a problem. HE spossing. Make sure your secondaries are going as well. Masashi, let's go as well. Like this. With your secondaries as well, please. And here we go. We are holding fire over here, I think. So let's get some manual off. Uh, it is going to four knot speed, so we'll get a little bit of lead there. Lovely stuff. Lovely, lovely stuff. We are forgetting the commando, but that's okay. We don't need everyone firing. If we hit here, we should be just fine. It will go straight down, I think. It is completely dead in the water now as well, which is brilliant stuff. There we go. Lovely stuff. That was our manual shot. <laughs> decent, decent, decent. I'll see you at the end of the battle then, which is now. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> Let's retreat and get out of here, I think. Brilliant stuff then. So after that, they only have two Clevelands, two battered Clevelands, and a man left. An easy picking for our next episode, which will be the final episode, I'm afraid, guys. I did say I wanted to go to um, 40 episodes, and that will be it. Um, so... Finally done, I think. <laughs> but in the meantime, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode today, and I will see you in the future. I've been the Edify Gaming, and I hope all your nights and days are auspicious. Goodbye.